Welcome to Anika Show Earwax Removing Video Today. One in four people suffers from irreversible hearing damage due to overexposure to loud sounds. And most don't even know it's happening until it's too late. Whether it's your favorite concert, noisy streets, or blasting headphones, your ears are silently taking the hit. Hearing loss is no longer just a problem for seniors. More and more young adults and teenagers are showing signs of early hearing damage. We rarely think about our ears until they stop working properly. But the damage is often gradual, and by the time we notice, it's permanent. So, where's all this coming from? We live in a chronically loud world. Think about it. Commutes filled with traffic, horns and subway noise, bars, nightclubs, and concerts with booming speakers, construction sites with jackhammers and drills, everyday use of earbuds at high volumes, just to drown out the environment. Even some workplaces, like factories, warehouses, or airports, regularly expose workers to sounds above 90 to 100 decibels, which is well over the safe limit. According to the World Health Organization, over 1 billion young people are at risk of hearing loss simply due to recreational noise exposure. The problem is, noise-induced hearing loss is 100% preventable, yet it's becoming more common every year. But what exactly happens inside your ear when you hear something too loud? Inside your cochlea, that snail-shaped part of your inner ear, there are tiny hair cells responsible for converting sound waves into electrical signals for your brain to process. Loud noises cause these cells to vibrate excessively, and over time, they die off. The real kicker, these cells do not regenerate. Once they're gone, they're gone for good. And the signs of hearing loss aren't always obvious at first. You might feel a ringing in your ears after a concert, tinnitus. Or you start saying what? More often in conversation. You may notice that speech sounds muffled or distorted, especially in noisy rooms. And maybe your TV volume slowly creeps up to higher levels over time. Left untreated, hearing loss can lead to social isolation, depression, and even a higher risk of cognitive decline and dementia. So how can you protect yourself without giving up the things you love? Here are some practical science-backed tips. Wear earplugs in loud environments. Concerts, sporting events, construction sites. Earplugs are small, affordable, and easy to use. Consider musicians' earplugs that lower volume without distorting sound. Follow the 60-60 rule. Listen at no more than 60% volume for no more than 60 minutes at a time. Give your ears regular breaks. Use noise-canceling headphones. They reduce the need to turn up the volume in loud spaces. Better sound quality at lower volumes. Turn down the source. Don't be afraid to ask someone to lower the volume. Your ears will thank you later. Download a decibel meter app. These apps measure your sound environment and alert you when it gets dangerously loud. Awareness is the first step to prevention. Protecting your ears doesn't mean living in silence. It means making smart choices now to preserve your hearing for the future. Let's recap. Loud sounds damage the tiny hair cells in your ear. The damage is usually permanent and irreversible. But you can prevent hearing loss by being proactive. Ear protection volume control, and noise awareness. Your hearing is precious. Once it's gone, it doesn't come back. Have you ever walked away from a concert with your ears ringing? Or do you work in a loud environment without protection? Share your story in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out our other videos on simple health tips that can make a huge difference in your daily life. Have you ever experienced dizziness from earwax buildup? Tell us your story in the comments.